Hill at number 11. That's Steve Kenter in second spot. Then Bobby Davis Jr. And battling for four spot are the two brothers, Jeff and Sammy Swindell. A great start by Tim Green, who just shot off the pole position and grabbed a good, strong lead in this opening lap from Steve Kinzer. But right behind Kinzer, Bobby Davis Jr. not given an inch. So the two yellow cars, and then the two Swindell brothers, Jeff and older brother Sammy, back there charging for fourth place. So three out of the top four are from the Memphis area. They sure are. Uh, what a hot bet of sprint car racing. You see him uh, come out of Memphis, out of the Pennsylvania area, out of the Midwest, and out of California. And right now, the California contingents got themselves a leader. Tim Green, Sacramento, California, out front, the Midwestern champion and the all-time winner here in the world of outlaws, Steve Kinzer, in second place, lifting a wheel as he comes off turn two. But, boy, Tim Green is just walking the field right now, Steve. And I got a feeling that Steve Kenzer, number 11, has got that manually operated wing in full tilt downward for all the traction he can get. Two A car of Richard Lupo slows Tim Green down a bit. It allows Kenzer to close up. So the lap cars are going to make this very interesting. They sure are, Steve. It's a one groove racetrack, and that means a lot of strategies involved trying to get by the slower fellas like Richard Lupo, who's trying to run his own race. And right now, Steve Kinzer gets underneath Richard Lupo. Right behind him, Bobby Davis gets by, so he's clear. Here are the two Swindell brothers, Jeff and the white number 80, champion number one car, Sammy Swindell, older brother, trying to get underneath brother Jeff, but not to be done in this lap. What confidence they have in each other, both to pitch them sideways at the same time, because if one didn't, he'd drive right to the other. Jeff and moves into the third spot. And here's the race with the lead. Tim Green in orange number seven. He drives right up on a slower car. That's going to be a big break for Steve Kenzer, who tries to get down low. And Green somehow hangs on to the lead. This man from Sacramento can drive a race car. He sure can. All kinds of poise as he just threaded his way through those slower automobiles. Didn't hardly lift. Didn't miss a beat. Steve Kenzer also ran right through that little uh, gaggle of automobiles to hang right on Tim Green's tail. Beautiful driving. Every time we see one of these World of Outlaws shows, we're just blown away by the driving skill of these front runners. Brock, we got a car spinning right here. That is 3K Kenny Schrader, and it may bring out the yellow flag. <laughs> well, Kenny just kept his foot in it and kept on going. I doubt that they'll bring it out. They may, but Kenny Schrader sure saved it. A piece of beautiful 360-degree driving to save that automobile. 11. Tim Green in the 7 car, Steve Kent in the 11 car, and if you ever played Crafts Brock, both those numbers can be winners. Well, right now, Tim Green's rolling sevens because that orange automobile just can't be beaten. He is out front and opening on Steve Kinzer. And I'll tell you what, as the white flag comes out, you open up on a man like Steve Kinzer on a half-mile dirt track in any kind of an automobile, and you're doing something. Well, Bobby Davis Jr. and Sammy Swindell are starting to pick up Kinzer. We could get a last lap fight for that second position. It's possible, Steve, but right now, Tim Green takes the checker. Too late for Bobby Davis Jr. Steve Kinzer comes home second. Davis third with Sammy Swindell back in the fourth spot. Well, with the tire smoke coming off those right rears, it looked like one long burnout. I can't believe anybody's got any air left in that right rear. Tim Green wins the main event here today at Devil's Bowl.